Hello, Derek Armson here, and today I'm going to show you how you can overcome Twitter's ban on directly importing RSS feeds. Let's go and have a look. Hello, Derek Armson again here, and as I mentioned, I'm going to show you how to get around uh, this inability to take RSS feeds straight into Twitter. Now, to do this, you need two tools. Um, the first one is Feedly. And the second one is Zapier or Zapier, I'm not quite sure how you say it. Um, but basically what Feedly allows you to do is create uh, aggregated feeds. Um, uh, it's really easy to do. So if I'm gonna create a new feed here, let's just call it test feed and save it. What I want to do is add content to that feed. So all I'm gonna do is go and find a blog that I like. So Neil Patel, um, no, I don't want notifications, Neil. Uh, and let's see what happens if we go RSS. Yep, we get a feed, fantastic. Uh, so I copy that URL and I put it in there. There he goes, Neil Patel. And this is what I want. So I'm gonna follow that and I'm gonna put it into the test feed. It's important you add it to the right feed. Okay, so that's in that feed. Um, let's go and find one more. Um, Matthew Woodward's another good one. He's a great SEO chappy. So let's, there's his website. Again, all I'm doing here is appending a forward slash and typing in RSS. And what Google will do is if there's an RSS feed, it will find it. So this one you can see is in Feeds Burner, but it knows once RSS is typed in to, um, to forward you to, to this, this particular um, site. So let's search for that as well. Paste, there we go, Matthew Woodward, and it will load results. Uh, and it says I'm already following that one, so let's add it to the test feed as well. So all you do is click, if you're already following it, just click and it'll bring all your feeds up. So what I've got is in this test feed now, I've got posts from both Neil Patel, <coughs> excuse me, and Matthew Woodward. Now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna build a Zapier Zap. They're little apps, basically, that allow you to do take certain actions. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a Zap, just click up there at the top, I'm going to use Feedly as my trigger. So you have a trigger and an outcome. So this is setting up the trigger. So point one, set up the trigger. So I click on Feedly. Now what I want is, now you have to be careful here because the first time I did this, I went article in a new board. Now if you look here, there's boards and I, was, I had feeds. Um, so I couldn't work out why it wasn't triggering when I was actually trying to say feed to a, a new item in a board and I was actually getting the items into feeds not boards there is a distinction and you'll notice that a feed option doesn't come up here so you have to click here show less common options new article in feed click that save and continue and then I've already tested this so I don't need to test it again but if you if you haven't connected just click the connect an account and it will connect to your um, to your uh, to your feed lead to your to whatever account it is you want so feed required if I click on here it then shows me all of the feeds now if you click on board trigger from a board it will not show you these feeds and it then gets itself in a right knot and it won't work <laughs> uh, continue so that's my trigger, yeah? And that's telling me there are articles in the feed. So you just continue. So that's the trigger set up. So we need to add a step. Um, and what we want, pick from one of the thousand app integrations. I want to integrate with Twitter. Um, and what I want it to do is create a tweet. Yeah, save and continue. Um, I'm gonna put it into this Twitter account here. So that's success there. Oh, continue. Uh, uh, so we've chosen an account. 
I'm just going to stop this because that's let's just hung for a moment. Give me a second, I'll come straight back. Okay, I, I'm back in. I just had to reconnect that Twitter account for some reason, though it was giving me success there, it, it wasn't actually connecting. So, um, you know, when you get the authorization box up here and you just have to enter your um, username and password and then authorize the app to connect to each other. So, for some reason, although it's saying success, uh, it wasn't actually picking up my Derek Arms and Twitter account. So, I've, I've just reconnected it. Uh, so, we save and continue. And then it asks you to do a tweet. And all I'm going to do is write a, a, a little little tweet. Great new um, digital marketing content from, whoops, helps if I can type from one of my favorites. Now it won't let you do the at, so I would like to do at Neil Patel so that his users will see that, but it doesn't let you do that on an, auto, on an automated. But you can hashtag, so I'll hashtag Neil Patel. Um, I'll hashtag Matthew Wood Wood. And I'll also hashtag online, mar oops, don't want to space in it, do we? Online marketing. Um, shorten URL, yes, continue. Um, send a test to Twitter and what that will do is a test tweet was just sent to Twitter just now so if we go to Twitter whoops, com, there we go great new digital marketing content for one of my favorites hashtag Neil Patel Matthew Woodward online marketing and that ladies and gentlemen is how you get over Twitter's ban on uh, bringing RSS feeds straight into Twitter. Uh, if you like this, then get along to my YouTube channel, Derek Armson Online, um, and subscribe to that so you can get lots more content from me. Um, and also, uh, why not get my free report, The 10 Biggest Mistakes You Can Make When Starting an Online Business. Go to my website, derekarmson.com, and you can pick that up from there. Hope you found this useful. Speak to you again soon. Bye.